guys, today I'm on the roof, uh, it's a bit windy um, and I'm right here with the geyser or on the, by the, at the geyser because the geyser is stripping our electricity in the house. So I'm here, I'm going to do some troubleshooting or actually did some troubleshooting, I don't know exactly what is wrong but let me show you what is wrong and how I am about to fix it. Assalamualaikum, namaste, good My name is Winston, and welcome back to my channel, Bushi Zabur. On this channel, we discuss everything relating to small-scale farming and the small projects that you can do yourself, save on some money, and enjoy the fruit of your labor. And in today, I'm going to sort out the problem of our geyser tripping the electricity. I know exactly what is wrong, and let me give you like a little bit of insight. So we had a problem uh, in terms of water in the area, and um, the geyser ran dry. The geyser was on and after a while it started tripping the electricity. That means that the uh, element has, has, has burned out. I've, I've ruled out that the element is burned out. But I'm going to do some troubleshooting and I'll show you exactly why I think that the element is burned down. So when, you, when, you, when your geyser trips your electricity, you must know that there's water leaking onto the power supply of your geyser. So somewhere where the, where the, where the wires are for the thermostat, and I'll show you exactly what I mean, um, there's water. Th those wires are exposed to water. And that's mostly where the where your it's either your thermostat, like I say, your thermostat, or your 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 element. And in this case, because we use geyser wise, we don't have a thermostat, so it's definitely the element. Because and again, I've done some troubleshooting. It happened before, so I know exactly what is um, going on. Before I start, let me also give you a disclaimer. I am not a plumber. I'm not electrician. I'm doing this based on. Um, teaching myself and you know what if you if you if you do this yourself you will be spending money on only the parts and saving money on the, the the labor that the guy will charge you and remember sometimes that labor includes their traveling to you so depending on where you live and where they are you don't even notice that but the um, labor includes the traveling to your place so let me show you and help you save some money took a step back and I'm going to show you how high it is so most of the things I won't be able to show you this is eye level and if I move up that's where the geyser sits so I'm going to have to stand on that little piece of wall I'm going to have to try and balance myself be working up there so some of the things I will not be able to show you how I'm doing it but um, um, I, just wanted, I just wanted to show you that so I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it but physically while I'm doing it um, I won't be able to show you that Secondly, let me also show you, uh, share with you some safety tips. Number one, make sure that the, the geyser, um, um, the circuit breaker inside the house at your main supply, main electricity supply, that switch off because you're going to be working with that white wires. Let me go closer. The white wires going up there. That is coming from your main DB board to supply electricity to your geyser and you're going to be uh, working with live electricity so make sure that your, your, your circuit breaker is switched off. Then obviously when you're working on this height make sure that you are secured right make sure that every time make sure that you are, uh, that you are safe. So what I'm going to do is first step is I need to take off that um, cover. Let me go on to this wall I want to show you um, what it looks like in there. So I'm up here. I'm actually using one hand to hold on here to um, secure myself, and one hand in my well, hand holding the the camera. And I want to show you something right over here to take off this cover. Let me just balance myself. Um, balance myself quickly. I want to show you. And all it's going to take to take off this cover is a flat screwdriver. Flat screwdriver to take out these. The one here, and there's one. Um, just behind there somewhere and then I'm going to take this um, cover off and I'll show you what it looks like after this cover is off. So this is how it looks like when you have opened the cover then you have then you have the the wiring exposed so I can't leave my left hand now because I'm, I'm still holding on otherwise I'm gonna fall that's very windy up here and very dangerous so the black and the red and the green wire that's coming directly from your um, your, your circuit breaker so if you haven't switched that off and you're gonna touch right there and then 
and you're gonna you're gonna be shot and if you can see right there under the black um, wire there's a drop of water you can you can see there there's drop of water it's that's the element that orange thing that you see over there that is part of the element now with the new and you can see the drop is actually wiggling there I'm gonna, I'm gonna come closer and you see how windy it is because the drop is like it's the wind that is uh, blowing that water uh, or like shaking that, 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 that drop like that so if I were to take out that element over here there's gonna be water gushing out so the first thing that I want to do right now is um, I want to drain the water from 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 the geyser and to do that normally when you move back a little bit from your geyser at the bottom there's normally a valve here that you can open to to um, to let the water come out so what I'm gonna do is I want to show you how this works let me just I think I can reach this standing on the roof so for this I need two hands and that's why I'm like standing on the roof I want to see if I can get this properly in there so only all you need is a shifting spanner and you just move it slightly like a like a tap like that and then once there should be water coming out I want to open it slowly quickly slowly until And that's how you drain your your geyser. So what I'm gonna do is let me just close this up. Let's close this up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a pipe over here. This pipe over there. And because we are all about saving some money, I'm gonna drain the water through that pipe into that bucket over there. And I'm gonna use that water for my garden. So this is gonna take some time. So let me sort that out and once the geyser the water and the geyser is empty i will show you exactly what to do next so there you go water is draining into that bucket i'm just gonna chill and wait until the bucket gets full i'm gonna close the valve and then i'm gonna use the water for for the garden so while we wait you can actually hear how strong the wind is so um in joburg if you are from joburg then you will know <laughs> August we are in August right now so you will know what uh, how dusty and windy August is and if you are not from Joburg and if you want to visit somebody in Joburg during August that is probably not a good idea because it is windy it is dusty and it, if you are somebody that um, has sinuses um, yeah you, it will just aggravate your sinuses and it's still winter that means it is still cold so yeah let me finish draining up this um, geyser and then I will let you know is what the next step is it's gonna take some time because um, that is my big bucket to fill so while that is busy going on let us uh, focus our attention here you can see that this is the wires like I mentioned uh, you see the black wire is neutral and the red one is live so what we're gonna do is because that thermometer not thermometer the element must come out let's take out those this disconnect that uh, those wires quickly uh, again i'm using one hand so i'm gonna loosen that i'm gonna take it out and i will show you what it looks like when it's done so one thing i forgot to mention is while you are draining your 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 geyser make sure that you close the valve that supplies water to your geyser because there's no use you draining out the water but it still keeps filling up the geyser. It's gonna this is gonna defeat the purpose. So rather switch off that valve or any valve wherever your valve is that supplies water to your geyser, and then you come back and you start draining your geyser. So there you go. Wires are loose. Wires are out. Um, that white white thing over there. Let me. Um, it, it's very dangerous let me do let me try and do this i'll use my left hand to kind of fold, hold on and while i can use my right hand like that so this is part of geyser wise so if you are not familiar with geyser wise then um, i will make a next video but this is actually um, controlled by a controller inside that tells the geyser when to switch on and when to switch off so you don't really need a thermostat to go into your 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 um, element to heat up the 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 geyser this this probe over here it 
it, it, it can actually stay in there. I don't have to take it out, but um, it, it tells the geyser when to switch on to heat the water. So let's wait, let's finish draining the water, and then once that's done, then we can take out this bad boy over here. Let me just make sure. Yeah, it's it's draining because there's it's actually going under because there's supposed to be water here. But there's no water, so the water is now under this level over here. But let's finish draining it because I don't want any water to gush out here. So the water is slowing down, you can see it's dripping down. So now we can take out that um, element. So let me show you how to do that. Again, it's it's difficult for me to, I'm holding the, the phone in my left hand while holding onto a pipe that I'm using to balance with and all you need is a is a tool like this that you get from a hardware shop um, even um, your plumbing shop you can get this and this is the part that goes over the the, the, the uh, element like this and then the holes over here is for you to put a pipe in or a some kind of spanner to help you turn and, and open it so I'm gonna use this I'm just you just put it over like this and then you need a tool to go through there and turn it I use a tool like this let me just stop here and grab this tool I have a normal pipe like this and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it through the holes um, I don't have no space now because of this yeah, like this Okay, I obviously can't use one hand I do that but this is what I'm going to do and I'm just going to just going to ply it open like this and then take out this thing so let me take it out and show you what it looks like all right so guys I have opened it up and it will just come out like this okay, just take it out like this and there you go the old one is out let me compare this to the new one so guys, this is the old um, element compared to a new element that you would buy and there are evidence or there is evidence of it being burnt, um, especially right over there and somewhere over here in the corner as well. Um, so obviously the water will, um, if it's burnt, the water will go through these tubes and out and then leak onto the you, I don't know if you can see in the inside, but there's kind of holes there. Um, there in the inside, so it will leak onto the terminals. So this is the new one. All I did was I put some thread tape. When you do plumbing, remember always to put thread tape on places where you're going to screw in. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this in. You saw how I took it out. You saw how I took this out. So all I'm going to do is put this in and then just screw um this back in and i'll show you what it looks like when it's tight in and tight all right so there you go um the element is nice and snug and also in the same um position as where i've when i took out the old one the old one was like almost in position like this the connectors was like this so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take the wires and remember that the black one is for neutral and the red one is for the life so i can't show you now because i'm still using one hand i'm using the other hand to to uh, balance but i'm just gonna um, open this uh, the screws over here and i'm gonna put this underneath there and i will uh, tighten it and let me show you what it looks like when i'm done right so right now all the connections are done if i pull on this you can see it's nice and tight and i also pushed back this probe over here that works with the geyser wires remember i'll do another video to show you how geyser wires works and then also uh, instead of earthing it there there's already an earth that the, the guy the plumber did the previous time so i don't have to earth it over here i it's already earthed right there so all i'm going to do right now is i'm going to open the water supply to the tank which is down there somewhere I'm gonna open the water um, supply to the tank I'm gonna let it run for a couple of hours I'm gonna sit back and relax and watch a movie quickly and I'm gonna come back and make sure there are no leaks over here because this is where the problem was 
the moment you, you you leak water over here it goes on to your terminals and then it will drip inside so let me open the water i'll come back in a couple of hours to show you what it looks like all right so guys this is like the next day um i actually forgot about this um you know i was supposed to go and watch a video a movie uh, it's a new movie called heart and stone um i came back um and i was supposed to come back and, and there's actually still water leaking from there so this is just to show you that um, when you do diy that it doesn't really um it doesn't really work the way you, you wanted it to so it doesn't work the first time around so um with that being said like i said it's the next day because yesterday we actually got um news that my grandmother passed away so while we were watching the movie Heart and Stone, we got the news, we left everything while filling up the tank, the, the geyser again. I left it like it as is and we left. So I just came back now. I'm busy draining it again because right now I'm going to get my plumber in to see what is wrong and what I've done wrong. And then we'll show you what um, has actually happened, right? So Johannes is done and I, I can confirm that I've done absolutely nothing wrong in terms of fitting the, the element. So this is the previous element, this is the one that was in the in in the geyser that I took out. The one that I took that I the new one that I put in, we had to take that back and here on the groove, here right here on the bend, there was like a a, a crack in the in the element itself. And what what um, what Johannes done was he took this plug, normal plug, he connected two wires to it, and then he connected um, the live to the live and uh, new the live to the live and then neutral to neutral and he switched it on. And what happened was it bubbled that other geezer, that other element, it bubbled from out of here. So it's just a bit of like didn't show you what he did practically like physically um, we were just running out of time because we had to catch the, the the hardware shop open so obviously me and this is again proof that um, I'm not an expert so I would have inspected the element when I bought bought it what you need to do is you need to make sure that you look at the element and it is it is smooth like this there's no bends there's no cracks no nothing everything has to be smooth because once there's a crack the water will go inside the element it will come out of those holes right there it will leak onto the terminals and your electricity will trip and that's what the problem was nothing with how i took it out and or how i put it back Alright, so that is how you fit a an element um, to your to your geyser up there. And that's how you fit it, take, take it off and put it back in and connect it. Um, some of the geysers have a a thermostat. I don't know where my thermostat is. I thought it was here, but it's not here. Um, us, ours don't use a thermostat. Ours use geyser wise system. I will make a video, definitely make a video in terms of showing you how geyser works work because keys are wise works but this is the video just for you to show you how you can change your element yourself there's a few troubleshooting that you can do to determine whether it's the element or not i don't know how to do it some of them i don't know how i knew from the word go why it was the element and i showed you why so if you like the video if you like the information that i shared with you please give me the thumbs up if you don't give me the thumbs down if you haven't subscribed as yet please destroy the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified whenever we have a new update and if you are the plumber if you are the expert please leave a comment down below to show me and give me critique show me what i've done wrong show me what i've done right so that we can better it for the future but that's it for me for now until next time keep well stay safe stay blessed away